All right, so I'm going to show you a quick video of how I reballed the IC uh, chip um, on that iPod Classic um, that had no sound. Um, you can see this is a fairly small compared to my finger, really, really tiny. Um, and if you look carefully, you'll see that there are five um, solder joints on there. Um, and um, it's unlikely that you have a stencil in order to reball this with a with a stencil. I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, uh, now, well, what what I like to do is make um, right here on the tip. It's hard to tell. Uh, there is a. Um, let me see if I can put it down right there. There's a solder ball, and what I do is I'll make um, five. Um, that are the same size, or roughly the same size, that I can't tell one is bigger than the other um, under the microscope. They all look the exact same. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll individually place them uh, and use hot air to uh, get them to, to seat properly. It's a little tricky because they can suck into each other, um, but you just got to be patient and gentle with it. Um, you can make these by, if you have another stencil for, say, an, an iPhone or something, you can just um, create a couple little solder balls in one of the stencils, and hopefully they come out to be the same size. You can maybe, you know, make a, uh, a whole set of them and then just pick five that are the same size. Um, you can uh, shave a little bit of uh, your solder off of, if you only have solder wire and not solder paste, you can... Uh, sh do little shavings and use flux and, and get them into little balls and then uh, shave off excess or add additional and I mean it's it's a little bit tricky but if you don't have a stencil that's the way to do it so I'm gonna quickly show you how I do this um, I'm gonna um, apply each one individually and you'll see um, how I do that I'm gonna apply a little bit of flux here Turn on my, my fire. 